it is winter and it is cold and uh, you're driving an electric vehicle in the winter. What's the most dreaded word? It's cold gating. Cold gating. The unfortunate curse that befalls electric vehicles in times of winter. As your battery temperature plummets, so does your charging speed. So yes, cold gating is a reality. What could you do? How do you manage it? Let's investigate, appreciate, and learn to mitigate what is cold gate. Welcome to Ready Steady Charge. I am Solomon. Thank you for joining me on a video talking about cold gating. Yes, cold gating, the most dreaded of all EV drivers. When the weather gets cold, your battery's temperature drops and your charging speed goes down like a rock. Well, what can you do about it? What can you do about it? The first thing you have to know is, well, know your problem. A lot of you would ask, well, isn't there a temperature gauge on the instrument cluster that will tell you what the temperature of the battery is? Well, unfortunately, you will be wrong there because most electric vehicles do not have an easy way for you to find out what the battery temperature is. In other words, nowhere on the displays, instrument cluster, the setting, can you really tell what the battery temperature is. There are exceptions. There are only a handful of vehicles where you can get a sense of what the temperature is like. And the system they use to display the temperature is not always helpful. So what do we do? Uh, how do we find out what the temperature of our battery is? Well, there's uh, three simple letters. OBD, Onboard Diagnostics. And that is through the OBD port that is on your vehicle. All modern vehicles have this, uh, despite if it's an electric vehicle, hybrid, gasoline vehicle, all modern vehicles should have this port. And the purpose of this port is for you to access information about the vehicle that is not readily accessible through the regular displays, gauges, and instrument clusters. If you have access to the OBD port, you will be able to read a lot more information about your vehicle that are not normally displayed on the instrument cluster. Now, how do you gain access to it? Well, with one of these. So this is a OBD dongle. Um, these will simply plug into the OBD port. I bought this one online. They are not too expensive and you can get them from a lot of different places. The OBD dongles come in two different varieties. There are ones that connect via Bluetooth. There are ones that connect via Wi-Fi. I personally prefer the Bluetooth type because when I'm connecting to it with my phone, I can still use Wi-Fi, I can still use data, so I still have internet access. If I use the Wi-Fi type, um, I would lose internet connection. So I like the Bluetooth ones better. Once you've connected your dongle to your OBD port, then it's a simple act of connecting the dongle to your phone via either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. There are many apps that you can use to read data from the OBD dongle. Certain electric vehicles actually have dedicated apps. I know there is an app called Scan My Tesla, so those are specific to Teslas. I know the Nissan Leaf has its own app. But outside of those, um, many other electric vehicles will have to rely on a general OBD app to read the data coming from your dongle. Now, once you've connected your OBD dongle to your phone, in my case, I'm using Bluetooth, uh, you can choose a variety of OBD apps to check the data from your phone. The one that I'm using is Car Scanner. And this one will give you a list of information. So let's take a look. 
Now, this is a big list of numbers, and it can look very daunting uh, to begin with. But if you're really interested, uh, take some time and look through these numbers and know what they mean and what are the implications, what can they tell you. For today, we're going to focus on what concerns the battery temperature. So, as you can see here, we got the heater temperature, the battery inlet temperature, battery maximum, battery minimum, and the battery for each of the four modules. Now, what will be important in determining how bad a case of cold gate you get is the average battery temperature. Using your phone to check the battery temperature is a good idea and is very versatile. However, it's actually not the most convenient way to keep track of your temperature, say, over a long trip. Uh, simply because, at least for myself, I don't have a spare phone, and I really like using Android Auto when I'm navigating. So, I don't have my phone in a good position for me to see. And the other thing is, uh, once I connect to Bluetooth on the dongle, uh, sometimes I can't connect to the car via Bluetooth. So I bought a special product to help with this, to help me keep track of temperature uh, whenever I turn the car on. And uh, let me show you that special product. And here is the special device that I was talking to you about. In essence, this is a OBD display. So this connects to the OBD dongle via Bluetooth, just like the phone. Except it's more convenient because it's small and you can put it where you want in the vehicle. And also, once it's connected to power via a USB-C connection, it will turn on every time your car turns on and connect to your dongle automatically. So it's quite convenient. This display is showing me some very useful information right now. Uh, these include both the battery temperature, which is sitting at 13 degrees Celsius, as well as the heater temperature, which is sitting at 14 degrees Celsius. These are useful numbers as they will tell me how likely cold gating is to occur. Let me show you what else this display can show. It has organized uh, pages in which you can scroll through using these little buttons. So this gives you some information on the 12 volt battery. This gives you some cumulative energy input and output. And the next one would be the same thing. And state of health plus operating time. And this one is battery percentage, temperature. Uh, the indoor temperature is an indicator of the, uh, the internal heaters, I believe. And this is the page I find most useful. It's the one that tells me both the battery temperature and the heater temperature. So I found this OBD display on a website called evobd2.com. Now, unfortunately, this particular device is only meant for three different types of electric vehicle. So there's the Kia e-Niro, the Kia e-Soul, and my vehicle, the Hyundai Kona EV. And the reason why this works with these three vehicles is because all these three vehicles are based on the same electric drivetrain. And if you have an electric vehicle that is not one of the three, um, unfortunately, you cannot use this OBD display. In terms of the temperature numbers, we are going to talk about this in more detail in a separate video, so make sure you're subscribed. Uh, but just know that when the battery temperature falls below a certain point, cold gating starts happening. And the colder it gets, the worse it gets. And if your temperature is above that threshold, then cold gating doesn't occur. For those of you who already have a Hyundai Kona EV, or for those of you who are looking to get one, um, let me show you where the OBD port actually is. So it's in a bit of a tight spot, but I think it is a well hidden spot. So it is down here. Let me just show you that. So you might see the lights on the OBD dongle. And let me unplug this device. There we go. And it's quite dark, so I don't know if you can see it, but there's the port. 
Now, I have seen uh, videos on European Konas, and they seem to have the OBD port hidden under this cover. Thank you for joining me on this video about how to find the temperature of your battery. Join me next time for more winter electric vehicle content. And as always, thank you for watching. I am Solomon. See you on the next one.